afternoon and glow up. Hope everybody's having a lovely Sunday. Hope y'all are getting ready to eat dinner or preparing dinner. I'm preparing dinner late today. It's almost 3 o'clock because I'm going to make a, what I'm calling an ABC meal. I'm going to do uh, three items on my menu today. I tried to make it be ABC, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be ABC. I'm going to do, I got the B and the C. I've got some beautiful tilapia fish that I'm going to just pan braise with some red onions. It's going to be a nice healthy meal. We'll find the healthy in it today. And we're going to do some steamed, sweet steamed corn. And some good old llama beans. So that's my ABC meal today. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get over here on the stove and get started. Again, hope you're having a God-blessed Sunday afternoon and that you've been in prayer already and that you're calling people or cheering somebody up today, cooking some food for somebody. I think I'm going to cook my big blowout meal next Sunday. It just dawned on me. Next Sunday, y'all know, y'all, it's Mother's Day, so y'all get ready for Mother's Day, figure out ways to uh, celebrate and um, just say thank you, Mom, to your mom. Of course, my mom is long, long, long ago passed away, but she's still right here in my heart, and I always keep her there. And while I'm still here with my children, I cherish those moments. I know they enjoy the time with me. That's why I do as much as I can, while I can, to make their lives easy and memorable. And I hope that's the same for you. So let that be a bright spot going through this next week uh, to sort of push back some, some of the other things that we've been going through. So let's look forward to a good old Mother's Day. And for whatever it means to you, whatever it brings to you, we ask for God's blessing over it. No matter what has happened in the past, let's let this next week going into Mother's Day be a pleasant one. Remember, no matter what, God is still in control. So let's get this little quick meal going, y'all. Uh, just basically, Kareem and I are going to be eating today. I don't think any of the rest of them are coming, but if they want to come by and get a bite, it's on the stove. So here we go. Okay, let's bring my camera over on this side and over this way, get here on the stove. Because what I've already done, I've started um, the water for my lima beans and I've chopped some red onion in that water. I'm going to be putting some butter in there. And I've got a few beans left in the fridge, so I'm just going to do one bag. I got, this is lima beans that I had left over from another time. So... Those will go in after these get done. I'm going to start out with a uh, the equivalent of a half stick of butter. Because y'all know I use the uh, Smart Start. So I'm going to start off with a half stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and put in my, this is a uh, food line beans. This is almost two pounds. It's a pound and 12 ounces of lima beans. Just pour it right into that boiling water. And I did wipe my bags off. You know, when I go to the store these days, when I get back home, I wipe everything down with my little Clorox pad. So, my bag of beans have been sanitized, y'all. So, got my beans going. Then, I'm going to put a teaspoon of complete seasoning in them. Okay, that should be a good teaspoon. I need some black pepper to go in those too, so let me grab this black pepper. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper I'm going to shake in there. Okay. And then I'll add the other beans that's already cooked, I'll add them later on. So there's my limas there. Lima beans always go good with anything, y'all know that. Okay. I need to find a lid for that. Hold on one sec. There it is. I need my lid. Okay. I walk right over there and didn't get the lid for my little pot. So anyway, the corn is going to go into a smaller pot. Now this corn is, let's see, 
This is one pound of whole kernel corn. I cook this because I know Kareem loves, loves, loves corn. He likes sweet corn. So, we'll go ahead and, and you know, this is fresh frozen. And I'll put um, a fourth of a stick of quick start into my corn. I put uh, a little brown sugar in there to sweeten it up the way he likes it. Uh, what y'all cooking today, by the way? Hope you got something good planned or something. Look, this, for me, this is a light meal today. Uh, this is a real light meal. So we're going to just put about a couple tablespoons of sugar in there. Um, four for teaspoon of black pepper. And just a bump kit of that complete season. And we just gonna, not putting a lot of water in there. I would have put a little bit more in there. This is my tea kettle I got. I'm gonna have some hot ginger tea here shortly. But um you don't need a lot of water in it because you mainly you want to let that butter and that sugar just get in there and cook right into it. Cook about 30 minutes should do and then cover it and let it continue to cook until it gets done. And like I said, it takes about 30 minutes for it to get done. Uh, and you got yourself a good little combo. So this is going to be a light Sunday dinner here today. Put the lid on that. Leave it on high until it starts to boil. And then when it starts to boil, we're going to turn that heat all the way down low and let it cook the rest of the way through. Okay, that's it. Tea cup there. I got my. I'm just gonna leave that out. Now I'm not gonna do this fish. I don't think it's a, well. I might as well just go ahead and do it. Now, and, and that way, I can do this meal in real time, and that way it'll all be done. So by the time these beans get done and the corn gets done, dinner will be served because it's like three o'clock now. I'm just realizing what time it is. I was sort of debating with myself as to whether I was going to bread the fish and fry it or whether I was going to just sort of pan fry it. And uh, health wise, I'm going to just put some olive oil in the pan and pan fry it. Okay? So, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in that pan. That's what I always use is olive oil. I cook with extra virgin olive oil. <clears throat> Someone sent me a note last week, which I always, y'all know, I appreciate uh, input, no matter how it comes. You know, the negative stuff, I don't want to hear. Nobody wants to hear negativity. But uh, a good challenge or even a constructive criticism, I don't mind at all. But I do mind anything that's negative. And, you know, a lot of times, even when stuff is negative, I might not see it as negative because I, I don't wear my feelings on my sleeve. Sometimes <clears throat> people make comments based on what they know. I mean, because that's where, you know, I pretty much speak with what I know. Because, I mean, and my thing is, if you don't know something, surely you can't speak on Well, unless that's the way I do. I'm not talking about stuff that I'm not, don't have any knowledge on or think I might have a reasonable amount of knowledge on. Or even if I'm kind of iffy, I keep my mouth closed. So, anyway... Because I'm using olive oil, that's why I'm bringing this up again. Um, and I won't even say it was a challenge. That was a challenge. It was simply someone giving, passing me some good information. And I took the time to answer. And it was talking about cooking with olive oil. So my thing is this. First of all, and I, I've said, and I don't need to walk around and say it every time I cook, is that I've been in this kitchen cooking over 60 years. And, and my mother and my grandmother taught me to cook. My husband taught me to cook some stuff. And I learned some stuff on my own from looking at other people, uh, watching TV, looking at cook shows, friends who are in the business, you know. So I've learned a lot about cooking through many different uh, avenues. So one of the things was on olive oil. And I don't ever want to put anything out there that would lead anybody in the wrong direction. Seriously. YouTube maybe have been meant for, uh, what do you call it, entertainment purposes, and I know that's true. We're out here, and uh, some of what we do sometimes 
is for entertainment purposes. But even in the entertainment elements of it, I don't want to put anything out there that's going to be harmful to anybody. So, you know, that's just my heart. And I think by now, for the last couple of years, if you've been listening to me, you know what I do and say comes from my heart. You know, sometimes, you know, you might not always understand what I'm saying or why I'm saying it. You might not like the way it comes across. But I would never do to say anything, uh, <clears throat> especially intentionally. And hopefully, I'm not putting anything out there unintentionally that, uh, you know, is going to bring harm or mislead anybody. I just don't like doing it. I like, if I give information, I like to think it's good information and it's information you, that you can use to live by. You can pass it on. Uh, and you can believe it or not believe it. That's, you know, that's totally up to you. I don't press anybody, even my children, as I'm raising them and, and teaching them things, I don't try to make them uh, submit to me. I just like to put it out there and then, you know, there's a level of respect and uh, <clears throat> authority that comes along with parenting. So that goes without saying. So anyway, back to this olive oil situation. Someone wrote and said that, and they said it in a very kind way, I think, but it was a way that was contradictory to what I know. Let's put it like that. So they, you know, basically saying that using olive oil on a high heat was dangerous. That information is out there. But there is also information out there that have been uh, deeper researched and with, you know, better knowledge to it that uh, extra virgin olive oil is recommended as for use on high heat. And it's highly recommended. Now, the people that do research on things like this, you know, these uh, cook, these uh um, these kitchens where they cook and they, you know, they test kitchens is what I'm working for. Um, they go and research things. And then when you live in, and you know, when you're around certain people that use things in different countries. So, you know, Italy and Spain is famous for its olive oil. And so my research told me over the years that extra virgin olive oil is ideal to use for high heat cooking. I lived in Spain for four years. And I'm here to tell you, I learned a lot about olive oil. And you, if you want to see olives and olive oil, and I'm sure it's the same place, maybe same way in other places. I've never uh, spent any time in Italy, but I know that they do a lot of olive oil and a lot of olives. There must be more different kinds of olive oil and processes of olive oil and olives than you could ever be able to count in a whole lifetime. So I learned a lot about using olive oil. Because that was the, that's what they use. That's what we cook with. I lived there for four years. And once I got there, I exclusively cooked with olive oil. Because it gives food a certain flavor. It, it has a certain aroma. And something, you know, I call it stinky. Kind of rancid. And I love, just like I like ripe meat. You know, people say ripe meat ain't good for you. But I love ripe meat. I've been eating it all my life. So... Uh, as far as the olive oil is concerned, again, I appreciate the comment, the information, but I suggest it to, and I suggest this always when I know something's been contrary, if I uh, say something counter, I'm going to try to give you a place to go look at, plus I'm going to give you my bona fide experience on the subject. And my bona fide experience on the subject is that I've been cooking for 60 plus years, since I was 70 years old, I'm now 70, um, so... And then also, I lived in Spain, and I learned a lot about cooking with olive oil, because that's exclusively what they cook with. And you go into the restaurants, everywhere you go, everything they cook, they use olive oil. They use, you know, whole fresh, virgin, extra, you name it, they use it. And that was what they, uh, that was what they used exclusively. And never once. In that process, and I've heard, I've looked, I've heard people say it out of their mouth, and I've heard over and over again that olive oil emits some kind of uh, gases from the oil when, you, when, when the smoke steams up. But one thing about olive oil, it has a lot of antioxidants. So I'm not a scientist or anything like this. Again, I've been using olive oil. 
forever and I'm going to continue to use it until something comes along that, you know, there's no, you know, I've read over and over, there's no scientific backup to the fact that using olive oil at high heat is bad. Now, people are saying it because of whatever I, I, I had really put my hands on that right at the moment. But anyway, I'm using olive oil here in this skillet. I've got um, a couple of tablespoons and I'm going to pan fry my tilapia right in that olive oil and then I'm going to uh, um, saute some onions because you know high heat you use high heat for saute and again I, I'm just that's just what I'm going to continue to do here okay so what I'm doing now I'm seasoning my um, tilapia I've sprinkled it lightly with some um, complete seasoning now I am going to drizzle it with some lemon juice just drizzle it real good all over, get that lemon juice flavor going. This is some nice, I love these nice big pieces of tilapia. They're nice, healthy. And you know, a lot of folks say you ain't supposed to eat uh, tilapia. I don't know. Here we go again with what you can and cannot have. Well, I guess I'm, I'm breaking the rules all the way around. So, there we go again. So, y'all, I've read up on tilapia. I've read up on olive oil. And I'm still a fan of both. Uh, I am going to also put on there some of this no salt uh, Tony Chakri's um, seasoning, okay? And this here is one of my little made up seasonings that I keep up in the cabinet. I'm gonna put some of that. Y'all know I like my food highly seasoned. So my goal today is in, with every day when I cook food that I'm actually gonna eat, I try to use as less salt possible because y'all know I've had the heart surgery and I'm not supposed to have I'm supposed to have little to no salt so and of course you know I don't eat a lot of food period I eat uh, what I eat when I'm eating you know every once in a while I'll get off, off the rich scale sometime and eat a little something a little bit of salt but not a lot you know we have to do things in moderation I mean we here on this earth we just can't live in fear of everything I mean I'm not a chronic I don't have a chronic condition where I can't have uh, certain things at all, but enough that I know, you know, this is Tony Chakri, so don't get along. This has no salt. This has a lot of seasoning in it. I like the way this tastes, so I use a lot of it. And I'm also going to put some of my um, seasoning from uh, India. My Indian season. Where is my season? I'm so look. Sometimes I think I hide the season from myself, honey. I'm stingy with this because it's getting low. Again, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get some more of this, and I don't want to be a bother. So I'm gonna figure out how to order this, and when I do, I'll let y'all know. But I'm gonna just season it lightly with this. Everything I'm lightly seasoning. And I'm just gonna rub it right on there, just to get that flavor on there. Like I say, you know, and all, everything I put on here so far has no salt in it, so as far as I know, anyway. Nothing is processed that I know. Maybe the lemon juice was a little bit processed. I don't know. Okay, now who got hit the head with that lemon juice? With that one. Okay, now this is my little homemade. Um, shaker of goodness and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of it on there it has everything in my cabinet on there in there everything in my cabinet somebody's ringing my doorbell let me see who's ringing my doorbell Let's see what's up let's see who's ringing my doorbell baby
the same person. Yeah. What money did I not borrow? Like, a couple, couple months ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just need that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'm gonna go take a nap. I need some. Did I forget to turn the camera off? Yeah. I did. Sorry about that. That was my neighbor daughter. Uh, she brought me some tomato paste. So we can just keep right on rolling. I'm not going to cut this part out. Y'all know me. It's part of life. And look, for y'all people who are getting out there, she stood back and we just hug and kiss. So we good to go. Okay? So we, we don't want to get too carried away with this thing now. I won't wash my hands again because I left the kitchen. But, uh, no, we didn't embrace and all that kind of stuff, so, but I washed my hands again, so I can get back over here and start and finish with this meal. So, where I left off was that I am, I have finished seasoning, pretty much. I've seasoned the meat like I want, my fish rather, like I want it. I'm going to go ahead and start putting it into, uh, the skillet and get it going. So, see how nice and big these pieces are? And you know, um, the price on these are not bad at all. Let's see, I got one, two, three, six, six big ones like that in a package for um, eleven dollars, and I don't think that's bad at all. So this uh, is going to have to be cooked on each side for about, I'd say, about five minutes. So. Um, Take about 30 minutes total to cook the, the fish, and pretty much by the time I finish the fish, everything else will be ready as well. And if I wanted to, I could just sit down and eat. But oh, let me turn the heat back on, turn it off, and I went, went to the door. Um, but anyway, that was my neighbor daughter, as I call her. I mean, Cynthia. Y'all met Cynthia, she was a sweet girl, um, and she brought something for me. Uh, and see, that's what it's all about when I say. You know, uh, go out and find out who you can help. If you're going to the store, if you know somebody needs something, grab it for them. Or if you think they need something, call them up on the phone and ask them, you know, do you need whatever. I needed uh, tomato paste the other day whenever I was uh, doing the, the um, spaghetti. Didn't have any, but I, tomato paste does something to my dish that I love. So I didn't have any, she, she only uses a little bit at a time because she had just a tube of it. And I used uh, what the rest of her tube, so she brought me a whole brand new tube. Now I'll go to the store when they get in stock again and I'll buy a whole case. So when she needs some, I'll have plenty over here. It's just that I didn't have any that day. So anywho, y'all, we're going to let this fish cook. Um, and again, this meal, you figure 30... 
one hour this meal can be on the table so it's not a long drawn out meal it's not a big old meal it's just a, a one of those health it's, it's a, a heart healthy meal as far as i'm concerned and it's a good tasty meal one that i'm going to enjoy as well as kareem is going to eat uh, something that we both like so it's and it's not work intensive so i like that part of it too and like i said next sunday i'll be cooking this big old blowout meal i've had the taste for steak for a little while so i found me some beautiful ribeyes so i now i think i'm going to do the ribeyes for sunday dinner next sunday so listen guys let this fish continue to cook uh let your beans cook hopefully you're cooking right along with me yep they're doing well another 30 minutes they'll be ready because you think it takes about a good hour hour 15 minutes okay so uh this meal like i said can be on your table within about an hour no more than an hour 15 minutes the corn will be ready here shortly and of course the fish it's going to take about uh 25 to 30 minutes to get it cooked up because you're going to do five minutes on each side so that'll be i gotta do three pans yeah well, i guess i could have put I could, you could cut it down to like really within 20 minutes to cook the fish. But I'm just, since I got these to cook, I'm just took, cooking two in the pan at a time because these are really good size. These fish are, I got big hands. These fish are as big as my hand. So that's some good size pieces of fish, y'all. And of course, I made some um, lemonade, some, what do you call it? Um, cranberry lemonade. Yes, I did. I changed. I switched it up on it today, so Kareem's gonna love that. I try to always keep something good to drink, and because it has a, a sugar, and I can't even drink my own stuff unless I water it down. So while we're letting all this cook, I'm gonna go ahead and do my little cleanup, and I'll be right back. There go my cinematography. Okay, y'all, the fish is all done. Now I'm going to go ahead. I put a little bit more oil in there. See the fish? Got all the fish out. The beans are still cooking. The corn is done. I'm going to go ahead now and start sauteing these uh, red onions. I slice them. Saute them right there in the same skillet. Got olive oil, the same olive oil in there. Start here with olive oil. This will take about 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, these onions, they might take us a look to me, take a little bit. Somebody might think different, I don't know. But I think to me, they take a little bit longer. I'm going to say 12 minutes on these. Medium to low heat. I start them out on high, high heat, but I don't want them to burn. So, and basically I'm putting the same seasoning on them as I did on the fish. Just a little bit of a uh, lemon juice, a little sprinkle of uh, Let's sprinkle of uh, complete seasoning. My tongue chachri seasoning. Okay. If I open it, it'll come out with so These onions, I'm just going to spread them. You know, just eat along with the fish. That's what we're doing here. Okay, y'all, everything is ready. The uh, onions are ready to go into the fish. I'm just going to switch over here. And how I'm going to do this is just take these sauteed onions and just lay them on top of this fish. Just like so. I really I'm in between. I'm just going to lift that one up so I'm in between so that uh, when we serve off the top, there'll be some left on the bottom. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be young meat, y'all. I wish y'all could smell this. Now. This is my pan fried tilapia and red onions, y'all. See if I put most of them on the bottom. 
for better work for right now. Okay, so the fish and onions are ready. The uh, lima beans and the corn is ready. Turn my food off a bit. Look at those lima beans. They have cooked all the way down. Thick, creamy, and thank God that leftover little bit of lima beans that I had, that's hot, had some smoked turkey next, so it helped to season everything up pretty good. So there it is, that's Sunday dinner, y'all. That is Sunday dinner. Let's get down there where y'all can see it, because here shortly, when Kareem gets ready to eat, we're going to get in here, and we're just he and I, because nobody else, like I say, the other kids are not here today. Get this out of the way. And we're just going to have us a good old Sunday dinner. Sun, there it is. Lima beans, pan fried fish with red onions, and some good old sweet, fresh, frozen whole kernel corn. So, listen guys, thank y'all for tuning in with me as always. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Thank y'all for praying for me. Thank y'all for your input, for the suggestions. And like I say, sometimes whenever you offer a um, suggestion or input, sometimes I'll you know just go along and it's okay. But sometimes when you come up with things that don't ring true with me, of course I have to address it. And I think I would be remiss if I did not uh, like about the olive oil situation. So thanks anyway. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm always uh, gonna listen to and be there for uh, comments, compliments, and even constructive criticism, however it comes about. So, listen guys, hope you got your dinner ready to go so you can sit back and relax and enjoy the day, the uh, rest of your day today, uh, so you can uh, enjoy your family if you got family members there to uh, eat with you today or not. And like I said, we're going to do a big Mother's Day dinner next Sunday so that uh, we can get, well, I only got three children here. And it's probably gonna just be me and my three children and um, probably Karan and Kareem maybe because the other little ones, you know, they've got mothers and they're probably gonna be with their mommy. So uh, we know that Norik won't be here, he'll be with his mommy. So, you know, that's understandable. So we just look forward to probably be about maybe no more than six of us here to eat Sunday dinner next Sunday. So until I decide to cook again, y'all, remember, continue to call people, encourage people, um, pray for folks, stand in the gap, do whatever you have to do to keep help to keep folk going. Uh, think happy thoughts. Look forward to Mother's Day with a passion. Think of all the good times that you had with your mother, and that's what I'll have to do because my mother is no longer here. I'll think about all the good times that she and I shared, all the things she taught me. Whenever I walked in the kitchen, I always had my mom on my mind because she taught me so much about cooking, as did my grandmother and my husband. So we're going to look forward to next Sunday uh, being Mother's Day. And hopefully, if you have children, you're in a situation where your children can be there for you. You can sit down to a meal with them. You can get on the phone. You can Skype, FaceTime whatever you have to do, whatever you feel comfortable with. And like I said, God is still in control of everything that's going on in our lives. And we thank and praise him. We reverence him. We honor him each and every day that we can open our eyes for one more time through this crisis. I was reading something, and I think it was Ricky Smiley that said um, he got two blessings this morning. He opened both of his eyes. That is a real simple statement, but quite a powerful one. Anytime that you can open your eyes and wake up and say, thank you, Jesus, it's a great day, no matter what is going on. So we thank God for life, liberty, health, uh, for our families, for ourselves, and the ability to be positive, think positive thoughts, and do good as often as possible. So until we meet again now, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down continue to reconcile those differences pray for one another uplift one another and check on your neighbors um, so until we meet again now 
keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I love you so much. Toodaloo.